How to Style the 90s Fashion Trends, Lookbook 2024. Hello everyone, I hope you've all had a really lovely week and are ready to dive straight into this week's video, which is all about the 90s fashion trends. Now, of course, we've seen them on the runway for spring summer 2024, but how can you easily recreate the look? That's what I'm going to be sharing with you all today. And to complete the 90s look a little bit later in this video, Jennifer Aniston's hair care range, Lola V, will be getting my locks in perfect order. So let's get started. Contrast. So let's start off with a contrasting look. And for this one, I personally am going to be following Carolyn Bassett Kennedy's very understated appeal within my own outfit ideas. So I'm styling my outfits using those very timeless silhouettes. And of course, if you want to play it safe and keep it really easy for yourself, I would suggest using black and white as your contrasting tones because of course they are the most obvious tones that we think of with a contrasting 90s look. So as we reminisce about the 90s, we of course will think about all those effortless looks that were created through very clean and refined silhouettes. The 90s is just an era of those very timeless pieces that prioritize polished, elegant, and quite smart dressing to be honest. And therefore I am personally more than happy that the 90s influencers have come back on the runways for spring summer 2024. Formula dressing. Now day looks in the 90s were all about the artist's simplicity. So I think it's important to have a bit of a go-to formula, so to speak, so you can create your everyday looks really easily and so that they look very effortless. So to recreate this in a bit of a 90s kind of style, I would suggest opting for your favorite straight leg jeans and pairing them with a roll neck as it's all about knowing what works together, but in a really minimalistic way. So I've kept my look here pretty classic. I've got my straight leg jeans on there, but they are high-waisted, which I would suggest if you're particularly wanting to follow that 90s trend. And I've paired them with a roll neck jumper that I've got in camel, but equally any color will do. I think the one thing that springs to mind when I think of a 90s fashion look is that their jumpers were always tucked in, the jeans were always quite high, and the belts are often quite wide. Um, so it's quite a tight look around the waistband. So in reality, this is actually an outfit I would wear anyway, regardless of whether the 90s are on trend or not not, but there are those little slight differences that make it particularly tick a box for this trend too. A dress that will never date. When you think about the 90s, that iconic image of Kate Moss in that quite sheer looking slip dress does spring to mind, that she looked fantastic in that. Or of course, Winona Ryder rocking the red carpet in her velvet slip dress too. So it's no surprise that we saw them back on the catwalks for spring, summer 24. So I have this beautiful slip dress, which has been made by committee, but to style it a little bit differently and to give you another idea, I have paired my beautiful deep navy. I say deep navy, but it's very hard to show this color on screen. I've noticed it's sort of coming across as black. So I've styled it with that over the top. One, because sometimes I don't like showing my arm, certainly in this weather, a bit of an extra layer over the top. But two, I quite like that contrast of the very simple slip dress underneath and quite a tailored and textured a blazer over the top. I really like that contrast of it. It does feel quite 90s, but it's doing it with a little bit of a twist, making it a bit more my personal style and making it a bit more elegant, really. Now, another idea, if you like the slip dress vibe, but need to feel a little bit more wrapped up, would be to go for a slip skirt instead. Now, this one is actually new in my wardrobe and I just love that deep brown tone. It's giving a bit of a slip dress vibe, but in an even more subtle kind of fashion. So as you can see, I've styled it here quite tonally with a really beautiful high neck jumper in that deep shade of caramel. And overall, it's giving the outfit that minimalistic 90s column of color as such, but it's doing it very much in my own personal style. Really, really happy with this outfit. So as I mentioned, a portion of today's video has very kindly been supported by the queen of gorgeous hair herself, Jennifer Aniston, with her award-winning hair care collection, Lola V. After getting tired of being forced to choose between hair products that actually work and ones that are genuinely good for us, she decided that the easiest thing to do would just be to make it herself. And of course, if you like the sound of it too, I do have an exclusive 15% off discount code for you all to get started. Now, Lola V products are all naturally derived and plant-based, so you'll find no silicones, sulfates, or nasty parabens. And of course, they're totally cruelty-free and vegan too. So I've been 
been using the restorative shampoo and the conditioner. And then to give my hair a little bit of a treat, say once a week, I use the intensive conditioner as well. Now I smooth that over all the really, really dry bits, which for me is about from there downwards. And then I'll leave that on for 10 to 15 minutes. Then when I get out of the shower, I've got these three triple threat hero products to nourish my hair to perfection. Starting with the protective leave-in conditioner, followed by the award-winning cult favorite glossing detangler. Now I don't know about you, but because obviously I have my hair highlighted, when my hair is wet, I tend to get almost like a scrunch of hair just sitting around this band obviously where the damage is. But once I've put the glossing detangler on, I can very easily get a brush through it. And then once I've dried it, it looks so much healthier as a result. Then as a finishing touch for those flyaway parts on the top of my hair and the ends here as well, I'll add a little bit of the hair oil too. Now I must admit my hair does feel so much better since I've been using them. And instead it's making it feel a lot more nourished and healthy, like I've always wanted it to be really. So if you like me have been searching for that perfect combination to really sort out your dry and tired looking hair once and for all. Based on my own experience, I can highly recommend the Lola V range. But don't just take my word for it. At the end of this video, please do click the link that I've added in the description box below. Head over to their website and have a good browse of the range for yourself. And of course, if you do decide to buy, don't forget to add my exclusive discount code at checkout to receive that 15% off your entire order. A beautifully tailored black coat. Now, needless to say, a timeless black tailored coat is of course a staple for your wardrobe at any season. But with the 90s designs focusing around smooth tailored finishes, a tailored black coat is definitely a good place to start. So I have shown you my one a couple of times before, so I will just mention it briefly. It's very simple, it's beautifully made actually, and it was really affordable if you are wanting to dip your toe into this trend. If you're shopping around, I've added a few links in the description box below of a few different favorites I found, but I would just make sure you look out for a few key points. One being that it's quite streamlined, so you're getting that long column of color. This one particularly is quite straight, which I do think Think is very 90s and also you've got a little bit of shoulder pad detail in there making those shoulders feel quite prominent which again really gives a nod to this particular fashion trend so I'd recommend it <laughs> if you like it too so to everyone who is already a subscriber on my channel thank you I am very very grateful that you're here if you are new here however or you're not already subscribed yet I would be really grateful if you'd like to do so I have added a link in the description box below for you to do that after this video Dressing up for the evening. Now adding a layer of structure to a look comes to mind of course when we think about the lines and the silhouettes of the 90s fashion trends. So this is an area I wanted to look at when it comes to what I would wear going out for the evening. Now I've gone for a bit of a high-low approach with this outfit idea just so you it kind of gives you more outfit ideas because you could either turn this a little bit more casual and wear it more daytime or you could make it even more evening for the evening. <laughs> you know what I mean. Now first of all I've gone for jeans. High-waisted of course will look a little bit more 90s. So you could either go with quite a dark wash, which will look a little bit smarter, or a light wash will look a little bit more casual. Now, depending on what you prefer or what you've got in your own wardrobe, on my top half, I have then opted for a tailored waistcoat. Now this is obviously giving me those clean lines, that structure of a 90s look, but doing it in quite an elegant, elevated way. Underneath that, to save my dignity, as it is quite low um, before it gets to the button, I've added a beautiful lace bodysuit. Now lace is one of the other big fashion trends for spring summer 2024. So it is nice to have a little hint of that. And obviously it is just a hint peeping through this V section here. Now obviously it's quite cold outside, so you are going to need another layer over your shoulders. And you could either go with a blazer that matches your waistcoat. So obviously mine's in black. Um, this is the Tuck style blazer that actually goes with mine. Now that's going to look quite smart and goes particularly nicely with those dark denim jeans. Or if you opted for something a bit more casual and you went for the light wash, I would maybe pair that with grey. And grey is, again, a tone that we instantly think of when we think of the 90s fashion trends. And I do like that look sat against that light blue wash. So lots of different options depending on what you've got in your own wardrobe. <laughs> I'm getting completely tangled. So overall, the combination of quite a relaxed, 
clean and simple look on your bottom half with your jeans paired with a waistcoat that is quite tailored and thinking about all that structure and those clean lines that all together as an outfit it makes a really nice high low contrast but it also does look particularly 90s too 90s color combinations so the timeless color palettes of the 90s have of course continued to inspire the fashion choices of today and with good reasoning those natural hues allow for lots of range making them ideal pieces to be really really versatile so for this particular outfit idea i've gone with a very typical 90s pencil skirt kind of shape but this time as opposed to the first uh, skirt that i showed you which is like a long column of black this one is a little bit more a bit more hourglass shall we say so ticking one of the other fashion trend boxes as well this one really nips me in at the waist it skims over my hips in i think and hope all the right places and then just flares out really nicely at the hem now to go with a little bit of a carolyn Bassett kennedy kind of look who would definitely be a style icon for me I've kept it quite classic on my top half with just a simple cashmere crew neck. Now you could opt for something a little bit chunkier if you wish, but I would just say it's quite nice to see your waist in this particular look, certainly with a skirt like this. So if you do opt for a different, slightly chunkier knit, maybe add a belt at your waistband over the top of the knit, lift it up and over so you still get that definition of your waistband too. Now on my feet, the other element that I think makes it feel very 90s would be knee-high boots under Underneath a skirt like this and I've actually got two different pairs that would work I've got my sort of top color um, sadly they're not in stock anymore but that would work really nicely and tie back to this tone of camel on my top half or the other option of course would be just a classic pair of black knee-high boots no doubt you would obviously certainly at the moment need a coat over the top so I would probably go for my long black coat that we talked about before or a nice idea if you have a similar color would be to keep the brown tone over the top as well and go for a camel coat both of those would work really nicely it's just about having the camel and the black within your your outfit however you decide to mix that up with your coats changing suits now suit structure had a change of direction in the 90s no longer being held to their quite classic fitted style like they were before they became more fluid and unstructured pieces of a suit as well began to be worn in unconventional ways within an everyday look so for example people started wearing a blazer with their jeans or suit trousers with just a jumper over the top like of course many of us do today and actually when we think about this style of course rachel green from friends does spring to mind she would often wear an oversized blazer with quite a tight fitting midi dress underneath so it's that kind of mixing and matching with those suit pieces that you've probably already got in your wardrobe that will really work when you're trying to create a really 90s outfit idea so in this look as you can see i am wearing the outfit that i'm wearing today and actually this is a good point my trousers and my blazer are not actually a suit so feel free to mix and match with the different blazers or trousers or perhaps a suit that you've got for work try and mix and match them with other pieces you've got in your wardrobe casual outfits now although it was quite elevated and put together in the 90s there is of course a total contrast of that with those really slouchy laid back quite baggy combat trouser looks going on as well in fact when i think about it i did have some of those very baggy cargo trousers that sort of gathered in at the ankle looked blooming awful on me and played shirts as well that's instantly what i think of uh, with a 90s fashion trend but rather than go back to my teen years and some of those terrible looks I decided to do a bit of a twist on it actually make it feel more me more my personal style bring it a little bit up to date and do something that I would be comfortable in that gives a nod to the 90s look rather than full-on headfirst into combat trousers so I decided to go for my light wash jeans and a simple t-shirt um, this was actually quite a classic combo with a 90s model what do you wear to a casting you wear a white t-shirt and a pair of jeans with a big thick black belt <laughs> keep it really really simple and it does what it says on the tin really but the flip side of this outfit idea to make it feel more casual is of course having trainers on my feet and when we think about 90s trainers it had to be a high top so I've decided to use my converse high tops that I've got in white but in reality probably any high tops that you've got in your wardrobe would equally recreate this look pretty easily over the top of that I decided coat wise to add my pretty heavy but lovely grey herringbone coat again like i mentioned i really like the light blue wash 
sat against the grey. I think that does feel casual. But the coat, of course, does have a bit of tailoring to it. So it will make this pretty casual outfit idea with my trainers feel a little bit more elevated at the same time accessories. Okay, so let's talk through some of the popular accessories in the 90s. And although they focused on minimalism, that did not mean with their accessories. From oval sunglasses to designer logos and printed bags, people use their accessories to not only brighten up their looks, but also to display their personality in their own unique way. And even probably a bit of brand loyalty thrown in for good luck. So to replicate that into today's fashion and outfit ideas, here are some of the accessories that I would add to give a little bit of a nod to that 90s edge. So as I mentioned a couple of times through this video, I would go for a wider belt at your waistband, really giving yourself as much shape as possible in this area. I would also say, thinking again about some of those iconic Kate Moss images, um, and I would definitely say a lovely pair of ballet flats. I would be styling those with jeans, tailored trousers, a little mini dress, and even a long satin skirt or a slip dress too. Handbags in the 90s were either quite big and flashy and lots of logos all over them, and this is a very teeny tiny handbag which you can basically get a credit card and a lipstick in but if you're wanting to look particularly 90s the smaller the better on that front darker shirts now for a really effortless way to recreate the 90s fashion trend would be to simply swap out those lighter color shirts and blouses you might be wearing and replace them with something darker instead. Darker shirts in the 90s really created a base for all those moody color palettes that we saw. So for this outfit idea, I decided to go with this really beautiful 100% silk deep green shirt. Now thinking about all those dark moody tones, I decided to pair the silk shirt uh, with my gray tailored trousers. I actually really love that color combination. Um, it does feel particularly 90s, but equally something I would probably reach for um, anyway. <laughs> I really like that. And then to finish, I have gone with my matching grey oversized blazer over the top, but I don't actually think that you need a blazer. That's just an idea of maybe a workwear look that you could reach for. If you wanted to dress that down a little bit, think about possibly wearing it with some ballet flats on your feet, or you could layer a jumper over your shoulders, or you could forget the blazer altogether and maybe go for just a long wool coat. In terms of styling the shirt as well, I would make that feel really relaxed. Um, unbutton it as much as you can get away with, roll back those sleeves, push them up onto your elbows, kind of creating a really relaxed vibe overall, even though actually the elements that you've got within it, i.e. a silk shirt, tailored trousers are quite smart. And I think it's that juxtaposition that personally I really warm to. So these are all the major points that I would personally suggest you try focusing on when you're thinking about how to style the 90s fashion trend. From moody color palettes to quite structured silhouettes, I really hope you found all of today's style tips helpful and it's given you lots of ideas of how you can recreate the 90s look for yourself. Do let me know in the comment section below not only what was your favorite outfit idea that I've shared with you today, but also it'd be really nice to hear what is everyone's favorite iconic 90s imagery that springs to mind, either from a TV show or perhaps from the runway or an iconic image of a supermodel? What is it that you think of style-wise when we talk about the 90s fashion trends? And don't forget to take a look at Jennifer Aniston's beautiful hair care range, Lola V. The link and the discount code are in the description box below. As always, I am really grateful for all your support. So thank you so much for watching. And I will be back in a couple of days with lots more outfit ideas and styling advice. See you then.